Garage Band iOS has some pretty amazing sounding synth instruments and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to my 5-Minute GarageBand Tips series, helping you learn how to use GarageBand. To add a synth instrument here in GarageBand, go to Keyboard, tap on More Sounds, and you'll notice that there's four categories here, Synth Classics, Synth Bass, Synth Leads, and Synth Pads. You'll also notice that if you've downloaded some of the sound packs, you'll have some additional synth sounds in here. Let's start with Synth Classics and tap on Soft Analog. To play a synth, we just tap on the keys. The keyboard instrument has a heap of options and I cover all of these in another video which you'll find linked up the top there and down in the description. To record a synth, hit record and play in your part. An option you may want to explore with a synth is the pitch bend wheel. If we tap on a note, we can bend the pitch up and down, and this means that when we're playing even multiple notes, we can get some pretty cool effects. Let's now add a synth bass sound. Once again, we go to synths, we go to bass, and we select from the bass sounds. Let's select this retro bass. Another cool feature here is the modulation wheel. If we tap on a note, we can slide the modulation wheel up and down and create some different sounds. And unlike the pitch bend, the modulation wheel will stay in place so you can play a sound with it in place. When using a synth in pitch mode, you can also change the sound by dragging up and down on the key. Let's show you that now. And you can create some cool effects. Let's hit the plus button, add another synth here. This time we're going to go with a synth lead sound. We'll select this vintage lead that sounds like this. Once again, another quick trick here with the synth. If we have this in pitch mode by tapping over to pitch, we can move the pitch of multiple notes at once, creating some really cool sounds. Our final synth type are pads, and we're going to this time grab this one, the day spa. Sounds like this. All of your synth sounds have some knobs up here controlling things like attack and release, but also things like the LFO, the low frequency oscillator, and how much of that you want to mix in. So you can create a unique sound. To save your own custom sound, including any changes that you've dialed in here, simply tap and hit the save button. Give it a name, such as Day Spa Pete, hit enter, and this will save it down here in your custom instruments. And finally, if you want to edit the notes, these are just standard MIDI. So just tap, tap again, hit the edit button, and you can edit all of the different notes, starts, times, velocities, and everything else. There you have it, your synth sounds in here, a great accompaniment to Alchemy and some of the other sounds we have in GarageBand. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording, and releasing using GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description.